So what's up guys, sir? Welcome back. This is now your boy again, Adam Slink. How you guys doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. I hope you guys are very much doing okay. So let's officially talk about this course, the biggest wedding event of the century. The reason why I said event, because there are so many, 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 many other pre-wedding uh, shows that are coming up. Even the main wedding has not even started yet. And we are talking about the Anant and Bani's wedding from Abani's family. The richest man in India, $150 million according to, billion dollars according to Forbes. And let's be honest, I, th I think everybody on the internet have agreed that there is no wedding that come close to this wedding. Not even Queen Elizabeth's wedding. Not even any of the, uh, of the royal family's wedding. Nobody on the planet Earth have ever organized wedding as exclusive and as rich as the Abani's family wedding. And this and that wedding actually topped all because it's the last wedding that will be directly hosted by the Abani himself because this is last son. So there is no any other wedding coming up again. Abani has uh, three kids, two boys and two girls. And they are the boy, the eldest boy and the girl are, are already married. So this is the last wedding that will be hosted by, the, by Abani himself. So they had to just make it big. According to them, it's not about the money they are spending. Spending the money, according to them, signifies family, signifies love, signifies coming together. They want to bring everybody together. But we are talking about the riches, the rich people together, not the poor people, man. But let us be honest, guys. I believe, despite the money being spent, because according to the India website, they estimated the wedding to be cost around 600 million US dollars. But according to other websites, they disagreed. They say so far, the estimation for the entire wedding event we reach close to a billion dollars. Can you imagine somebody spending a billion dollars for his child's wedding? Just imagine that. A billion dollars. We are talking about some of the wealthiest men in Nigeria net worth. The entire net worth. This guy is spending it on a wedding. On a wedding. Well, I know I can't relate but some people might just think, oh, they are just spending it, wasting money. See, if you reason the matter very well, this is not wasting money. They are indirectly creating jobs because they are not going to swallow the $1 billion. The $1 billion will be spread across workers, spread across charity events, spread across hosting celebrities, spread across hiring cars, private jets. And this, thing, this money is spreading around. Creating jobs. So far, so good. I have, I even think that wedding alone will create close to 10,000 jobs. Yeah. At that particular event, we create close to 10,000 jobs. So, I am not only looking at, looking at the money. I'm looking about, I'm looking at the creation of job and how that wedding will assist the lower class. That's what I'm looking about. So, I even want more billionaires to open up, spend your money on things. Spend your money because it will help to create jobs for other people. So, I don't understand why someone will have money and will, and will be humbled. Humbled for what? You want to be humbled and store the money in your bank account? You will die and leave that money. So, spend it while you have it. That is one of the reasons I respect and I'm so, and I'm so much happy about this. I'm, I'm not a man, I'm bad this wedding. Why some people will say, oh, you guys are spending it too much, vanity up of vanity. Okay, do you want them to hide the money? Is that what you want? And when they hide the money, it can't get to you. So, let them spend it. Let them spend it so far, guys. Let's check out some details. The wedding invitation. Going to the, uh, to the uh, Ananta Manis uh, outfit. Made of gold. Well, first, let's check, let's check the wedding invitation. We have here, we have this beautiful wedding invite with compliments from Mr. and Mrs. Ambani. Let's go ahead and unbox this and see what's there in it. 
Okay, so we've greeted with this big orange box, which is so beautiful. It has this lovely image of Lord Vishnu right here on top. With, I think, if you look a bit closely, we have Goddess Lakshmi residing in his heart. With Vishnu Shlok written all over this box. Let's see what's inside this beautiful box. Wow. Take a look at that. Such a lovely embroidery that's been done. I think that is what you call the Vaikund, the place of residence of Lord Vishnu and Goddess Lakshmi. And I can also hear the Vishnu mantra as I open this box. So now let's see, there's this golden book here that we have with this idol here. Let's open and see what's inside this book. Wow, look at the work that's been done. I think this is the wedding invite. We're greeted with Lord Ganesha. And what is this? Oh, oh, this comes out. This seems to be like a detachable frame. I think I can easily get something like this framed for my temple at my place. Let's move on. Then we have Radha and Krishna. There are so many details in that box that I don't want to uh, unveil because I don't have much time. But of course, guys, you can see how exquisite that box is. Exquisite and nice that, bo that box is. And let us even forget the wedding invitation. In fact, uh, this box, they produce more than 3,000 of this box. More than 3,000 because they were expecting close to... In fact... Apparently, because I do not have the facts, apparently they produce more than 3,000 and they were expecting across all the events 10,000 10, guests. And they have different, different, different events. Different events. So across all events, they were expecting 10,000 guests. So the guests you are expecting here you won't see that the same guest here. So, separate date for separate event across the world. And inviting separate uh, guests to separate events. Damn. Imagine the cost. Imagine the cost of this single box. Going to more than 10,000 pesos. More than 30,000 pesos. But close to 10,000 pesos. The box alone is worth millions of US dollars. Not just one boss, but all the boss accumulated, I can't even estimate, like millions of US dollars. But that is nice. But one of the crazy things about this whole event is the outfit of this guy, the Anant. There's one particular outfit made of real gold. Did you all see Anant Ambani's Royal Bengal Tiger brooch with yellow and white diamonds? Perched atop a large size ruby worn for his Sangeet ceremony to show his love for animals. He wore it with a navy blue bancala embroidered with real gold, designed by the famous Abujani and Sandeep Khosla. The buttons of the outfit were made of rubies and diamonds. I am dying to know who designed the extravagant brooch Cartier or Bulgari or who? Please come. The button of these outfit are made up from ruby and real diamonds, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. And not just only that outfit. He has about uh, different locations, different outfits. And all made up from uh, real quality material. And mostly flushed by real gold and diamonds. Come on. They are burning himself. Of course, you know our own very Rema performed for the Abani himself and his family and other Hollywood, uh, Bollywood superstars. They were all there. This is what I said. This family are celebrities to celebrities. They are celebrities to celebrities, this family. And King Kardashian, you see, the, we, you, we saw the special details to attention how they welcome Kim Kardashian. That is how they welcome every other special guest. Every other special guest will welcome exactly the way they welcome Kim Kardashian. So imagine the cost of organizing, organizing such welcome for close to 3,000 guests. Imagine. 
the cost of organizing such reception for close to 3,000 guests. Kim Kardashian was recently at that guest day, uh, at the, at the uh, event yesterday, but Kim Kardashian will not be at the next event because she wasn't welcome at the next event. Everybody have their separate event for separate dates. Wow. Just wow, guys. Just wow. Money. Then let's talk about uh, the watch collection of this guy. The resident, the watch collection. Of course, you know, Abani's, uh, Abani's uh, resident is one of the most prestigious re resident in the world. And uh, the total cost of that resident so far, according to estimation as far back years ago, was about a billion US dollars. And total cost of running that resident a month, plus the security details and everything, security all around the world, details, the cars, maintenance, everything, I think... Uh, someone did uh, a review and estimated it to be close to 50 million US dollars a month for total cost. And of course, you know the uh, India family, they are so family oriented that they want their whole kids to also stay with them as well. So, this mansion, it's not even a mansion, sorry. It's not a, this skyscraper of a home, eh? this skyscraper of a home house their bunny. And his entire family. Even though you are married, you are staying there. And Nat will also stay there with his wife. His eldest uh, brother is staying there with his wife. And the woman is also staying there with her husband. So they are all in that house. Damn. Damn. And the crazy part is that just close to Anat Abandi's house, you can also see a small kiosk where they sell these such as uh, uh, whatsoever it is. You see how close the rich is so close to the poor. I don't understand the setting, but that is how it, it, it is in India. You see this tall mash on the next house you're going to see is just one kiosk there. I don't know why. I don't know why they do it because over here in Nigeria and in most other countries, they do not even want to see the poor around them. They don't want to see any poor around there. Just imagine. You can't see a rich man in, for instance, the capital territory of uh, Nigeria, this huge mansion, and you're going to see a kiosk close to it. Nah, you are not going to stay in there. It be, it's not possible. You are not staying there. You are not staying there. Well, but it's nice. It really, really shows how, how easy going this man is. Hmm? What else again? You have so much money in the world. Why won't you be easy going? What else do you even want? Just imagine that. What else do you want? Do you want to be rude? Because you can be rude. The security details of this wedding, so nice. Honestly, all, almost all the superstars in Bollywood were there. All. And almost all of them were also invited. If you can't make it, you must give excuse to the reason why you can't make it. To the reason why, for the reason why you can't make it. If you can't make it to that event, you must give an excuse. And the excuse must be tangible. As a superstar, if invited, because everybody was looking for invitation. Everybody was expecting an invitation to attend one of the most prestigious weddings in India. None like that in the world. I've never experienced any wedding like that in the world, or I've never seen any wedding like that in the world. That's what I'm saying. For me, it's the wedding of the century. Never have I experienced it. So if anyone out there has experienced a wedding that is much more exquisite than this, let me know. With so much money spent, with so much money spent, superstars upon superstars upon superstars are performing in different events. Superstars upon superstars. Come on, man. What else? What else? Now, let's take the time to check out the Anata Bani's watch collection. There is one watch that is worth over 55 million US dollars. Just for one watch. Just for one. Just for one watch, guys. Just for one watch. So let's check this out. Beyond Billions. Why Anand Ambani's watch collection is making waves. 
For his recent public appearance, Anand Ambani chose a remarkable timepiece from his extensive luxury watch collection. He was seen wearing a rare Richard Mille RM1201 tourbillon in red carbon. This limited edition watch, with only 18 ever made, is highly coveted and valued at approximately R's 691 Karor. This isn't the first time Anant has been photographed with an exceptional watch. His collection is globally renowned as one of the finest, featuring prestigious brands like Patek Philippe, Richard Mille, and Rolex. These horological masterpieces frequently adorn his wrist at various events. Anant's passion for fine watches reflects the Ambani family's appreciation for luxury and craftsmanship. His collection, spanning from classic designs to innovative pieces, has become a subject of fascination for watch enthusiasts and the media. Each public appearance offers a glimpse into his carefully curated collection, leaving observers eager to see which exquisite timepiece he'll showcase next. So guess what, guys? Apparently, according to estimates, this guy watch are worth about a billion dollars. Estimation of his watch collection. A billion dollars, guys. A billion dollars. And this is not even the Abani himself. This is Anat, the son, the last born. We are not talking about the eldest boy or the other lady before Anat. <laughs> ah, oh God, money. Money, 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 money. The party that I welcome and John Cena. John Cena was dancing like somebody who have never danced before. <laughs> well, uh, big up and uh, honestly, for those of you who are criticizing them for spending so much, tell me, do you want them to hide it? Do you want them to hide it under their safe so it can't get to you? Why are all those billionaires hiding their money? Spend it. If you spend your money, it's going to create more jobs for people. Spend it and let those hard workers grab it. Spend the money directly. This, this, directly. This event would have created close to a thousand jobs or close to even ten thousand jobs directly and indirectly. Let's be honest. This one billion dollar or six hundred million dollars estimated to be the world is not going directly into their pockets again. They are paying it out for event plans, for security, for cleaners, for cooks, and so many other things. Come on, man. Come on, what else? So, do not bash them for spending such money, man. It's just, they, they have to spend it, spend it in order for it to get to us, honestly. Honestly, they have to spend it. Allow them to spend it. Let them spend it on ridiculous things because it will be job creation. Yeah, let us spend it, guys.